Hello everyone, and welcome back to what is another Star Wars figure review. Big surprise. <laughs> uh, anyways, this time I actually got a quite interesting figure. Uh, I picked this one up three or four weeks ago on a uh, Danish auction site. I was really, really thrilled to finally get this one. It is this one here. The Nexu from Attack of the Clones. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. I was just fi glad to finally get one. It's a really awesome figure. Uh, different kind of figure. Absolutely. Um, just to start off, I'll show you the packaging. Which is this one here. I make a picture uh, over here. See next to and a picture down here of the next suit. And then in the back. It's pretty much your standard tail of the clones uh, package. I'll just read to you here from the bag as well. Um, the next suit. These fierce beasts strike their prey with silence and cunning, sleek and agile. The next suit has impressive climbing abilities that made it difficult to escape once it has its victim in its sights. There we go, next suits. Um, as the figure itself, it's pretty well made. Um, all the, the the legs are swivel uh, up here at the shoulders. There's uh, no more articulation in that. Uh, the tail here, it's bendable. Stretch it out. It's got some wire in it. You can stretch it and put it as you please. Actually, let's put it back in this position. Uh, it has some, apparently the tail has uh, suction caps underneath, like a, like an octopus has, which is interesting. Uh, this hair up here is supposed to uh, be razor sharp on these creatures, so you can't ride him, for sure, for sure. Um, and it's got big claws, of course, all feet. Um, half mat. It's got an opening and closing jaw. So it's going to click. And if you press the thumb, uh, uh, tongue, oh, sorry, inside the mouth, the jaws as well supposed to snap with that sound, but of course that's a bit hard with the finger in its mouth. With this sound. Uh, and then there's another sound. If you press this little button here, Press that. We'll hear this sound. Um, that's pretty much about it. I'm um, rather impressed that they did put electronics in this thing. Um, but then again, that was back in the days when they did that. Uh, I'm very annoyed that they don't put electronics in ships, for instance. Uh, your standard ship like the HAP, V-Wing, something like that. When they did put it in something like this, that's kind of annoying in my world. But, anyways, back to this figure. It's a really cool figure. It's well made. It's pretty detailed. It hasn't got the best. It hasn't got the best of articulation in the world, but it's rather cool uh, and worth adding to one's collection. And uh, I can't help but. Actually, every single time I I read the commando, I can't help but to uh, to feel like uh, Val and Vio's pet uh, Mird is looking somewhat like this, only with six legs. But I know that, that just might be me. Anyways, that's it for now. I really hope you enjoyed this, and until next time. May the force be with y'all.